Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four, and I'm back with another episode of Ether One. So in the last episode, I tried to crush an ethereal crystal in Jean's mind, almost said Jamie, and I don't know what happened, but I really pissed off Jean, and I also pissed off Phyllis, which freaked me out. I really don't like it when Phyllis yells at me. And I've been wandering around Pinwheel Harbor for a while, trying to figure out what the hell to do. I did something with the bells, and I fixed the projector, but I don't know what else to do. So let's continue. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the pub here. See if there's anything else I'm going to find. I was I, I edited out like an hour of me trying to rearrange some glasses yesterday. What is this like a... Okay, it's a painting of like a tree. Oh, what's this? It's... Oh! It's pinwheel brew. And you can type something on it. Okay. Um, let me see. Whoop. That's not what I meant to do. How do I get out? No, 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 no. Hang on. Okay. Um, so I need to find something that looks like this that I can write here. So I'm looking for what I'm guessing is like a painting or something that looks like that. Oh, can I can I get up there? Whoop. What about this one? Oh! I thought I was looking for a painting, but this says J.D. Taylor. Okay. Go see if I can like maybe write that on there or something. I feel kind of weird when I have to type stuff in because when I tried typing in the thing with the ankle bells, it didn't work, or at least I don't think it did because I never got a sound or anything. Okay, so I have this, and it looks just like that. So it's called JD Taylor. So I'm gonna try to put this in there. JD Taylor. That crow would have died for sure if it was just left there. What crow? Okay, can I get out? Oh! Uh, hey! Okay. Do I still have that thing? Whoops, not that thing. The other thing. No, I don't. I, you know what? I think I put it somewhere. Ah, oh, crap. The thing that bothers me is I'm pretty sure I put it somewhere. I put it on another, um... What am I trying to say? I put it on a another combination safe thing, but I don't think that was the right one, obviously. Let me see if I can find it. Well, that scared me. Interesting. This. I put it on this, didn't I? Ah, oh, crap! Did I lose it somewhere? Oh, man. I did, didn't I? Shit. Where did I put it? I cannot believe I lost that. Oh, for God's sake. Why won't anything work right there? Who said that? There it is. That's where I put it. Crap. I remember that the code to open it was in the blo was in the pub. 1513. Okay. Great. That didn't work. Oh, uh, what? Oh, dang. I just... Uh, okay. Uh -huh. There we go. Let's put it up there. Okay, so 1513, right? 1... 5... Wait, 5... 1... That first night, it flapped and panicked for hours. But by the morning, it felt calm and safe. Oh, a crow, right. Okay, so a key. Ta-da, I got a key. Really? Oh, isn't there another one up here? Yes, there is. Aha! Let's see what's up here. Oh, a book? A diary? It hasn't been easy since I took over the pub and pinwheel, and as I thought, it hasn't been easy. I have barred many people from entering the premises due to their insulting comments and cruel words. People include those layabout criminals Jim and Mark, as well as Christopher Fletcher. Jim and Mark deserved it, but I feel sorry for Chris. The guy needs to pick himself up and look after his lad properly. As of tomorrow, I'll be putting up a barring list on the site that clearly and publicly 
publicly state who is barred and how long they are barred for. Maybe I should also bar that lecherous Matthew Lewis as well. He keeps giving me unwanted attention after he's had a few drinks, and sometimes it's crude. Well, I mean, that's... we're in a bar. Oh! A playpen! Blocks! I have some blocks. Oh, look, cash register. That's adorable. I can't click on these. Okay. Huh, I love how there's a beer coaster next to the crib. Okay. What are these? Oh, little handprints. Okay. Rocking chair. Baby gate. And a storage area. Why would I need a storage area? What's up here? Oh, a little boat in a case. It took weeks, but it healed fully, and pretty soon it needed to be released back into nature. I think I know where this goes, because I saw some little boats and a thingy uh, in the last episode. Um, uh, I don't want to go there right now. I'm going to put it in the case. I should probably take that key just in case I need it later. Okay, what else we got here? Close. 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 Little toy. Little crib. Parents' bed. What's this? Cider. Shoes. Alright, exciting. Right. So let's go down by the water and see what we can do with these boats. Here we go. I knew I saw some little boats here. Alright, so I need the one that goes in the second slot. Put it down there. Come on. There we go. The wise words of a father. If you love something, set it free. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going, little boat? You're just going to go out into the ocean, aren't you? Alright, well, bye. My fun little boat. Alright, you gonna, gonna head out that way? Damn, man. For sure fucking goes far for a little weenie boat. Well, have a nice life then. Bye-bye. How come you're not leaving footprints in the snow? Uh-oh. She know I'm here. All right, well, let's go to the blacksmiths, I guess. Now, when I was in here last time, I picked up a spanner and I turned on this fire. Let me go get that spanner and see what I can do with it. Okay, so what can I do with this spanner? Hmm. Put it in the fire? No. I'm just gonna click on everything I can. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Aww. There's something red down there. Can I get up there, maybe? Oh, I've never been up here before. No? Oh, what's this? A heavy heart won't hang in the balance forever. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Huh. Let's see what these notes say. Dear Aaron, my sleepless nights now have almost stopped. The rolling sound of the buoys out at sea helped me drift off every night, and Poppy sleeps soundly at the foot of my bed next to my tools. It has been difficult to continue blacksmithing in the same capacity as an old man. There are so many repairs that I need to do for the locals that I am just not quick enough to do it in time. Anyway, those Wainwright kids have been playing around the furnace again. They come down to watch the toy boat races on the river, but I like to take excursions into my workshop. I know your neighbors with their parents, so could you ask them to have a word with their children for me? I just don't have time. I don't have the energy to chase them anymore. 
That didn't help me. So there's kids in his workshop? What is this? Plugs? Okay, hang on, let me... Alright. Let's see what else I can do here. What does other notes say? Dear Mr. Bell, although I'm grateful for the extra income, I'm slightly worried about the damage you've done to my floor whilst putting our cables under my workshop. The floor looks very weak, and I'm nervous every time I have to carry something heavy over it. Anyway, I've made the repair cable you asked for. It's only a temporary fix, but it should do the job. We'll talk about the floor again soon. So something that has to do with the floor and some kids. Oh, hang on a second. I got an idea. Because this thing, it goes down and then it goes back up. What if I take it down? No, go down. There you go, go down. What if... No, keep going down, keep going down. Ooh, what if I turn this on now? Memories can be painted into our lives. Oh shit, I broke the floor. Can I go down there? Will I be able to get out if I go down there? Okay. Hope so. <laughs> Mechanical engineering, Abel. Hmm. Note to self, I must ask the blacksmith to make me a connector for the broken cable. I had hoped to have finished my test by now, and I fear that even when the power is back on, that the lamp still won't function pro correctly. Either way, I must try. I already have another experiment lined up using sound, and I'm eager to press on. So something with light and sound. Where do these go, anyway? Okay. Look at all the crap that I've collected. All right, let's go back. Okay. Can I just... I just want to see what this does. Oh, right. Okay. Oh! Okay, I got an idea. It's kind of weird, but... Okay! I don't know how that had passed in the real world, but whatever. Sometimes we find old ones. We forgot where we were. Okay. Right. Oh, a projector. I didn't even know it was here and I already solved it. Okay. There's not much I can say about today's session other than sheer joy. We'd set up an easel in the corner of the room by the window and we both painted together for most of the afternoon. The paintings were remedial, but showed a keen desire to express one's emotions. There's a person in there just screaming to break out. The whole session was recorded, and I believe this is tangible evidence that the therapy is working. I just need to show sustainability to ensure further funding. Of course, full validation and acceptance is still the goal here, but this is fantastic. So... Just because she has dementia doesn't mean she can't paint. Oh, it's locked. So now I'm locked down here. Oh, that's that's cool. That's that's really cool. Okay. Um. Hmm. Super cool. Oh, do I need to use that same key again? Right. Aha! Can I have it back? Nope. Alright. Oh, now I'm in... Okay, I'm in the crow's nest. Oh, what's this? Oh, another key. Oh, shit.
Okay, where's that other door that's locked? Is there another door that's locked? I thought there was. I can't remember where it is, but I have the key now, so that's good. Oh. No, I already opened that one. Okay. Wait. Did I already watch this one? The burnt roach is a special one. I'm marking it under positive. Although it deals with letting go, it also has a strong emphasis on a father's love. And when I used it, I found that the patient didn't want to let it go. <clears throat> this may be an early sign of progress. As experimental as this process is, I still feel it's heavily grounded in tangible science. Fellas' voice sounded really different there. It sounded really young. The fuck? The hell? I'm starting to hear voices. I don't like it. I hear the bar being tended. So when you unlock these things, it makes it easier for her to remember. And she starts remembering more stuff, like the atmospheres. Alright, what is this place? Okay. So yeah, I'm unlocking more things and now she's... Remembering sounds. Oh, I have to get up there. Can I click on that from here? I didn't think so. Oh, here's one. Please remain focused in there, Restora. I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times before, and I won't stand for it again. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No, I want you to inject it now. I don't care. They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. What are you going to inject? <sighs> Sorry about that. I need to go and sort out an incompetent individual, as per usual. I'll be back shortly. Oh god, that freaked me out. I thought things were going to get all fran just now. Okay, so I have to figure out how to get in that house. So I can get that ribbon. Huh. How am I supposed to get up there? Can I get into the post office here? You know, I bet you they have a stamp. Hey, y'all, you got stamps? Alright, what's this? Disaster! Mine collapse kills 23. Yesterday a terrible accident occurred, and everybody died. Okay. I should probably look closer at that, but I'm not going to. Can y'all pick that up or something so I can get past this? There we go. Huh. There we go. Oh. Hi, Jan. All cashing up has been complete and the books have been filled out. I have replaced some of the stock on the shop floor with our reserves and have ensured the outgoing mail is ready for delivery. The parcel situation, however, has not lessened. I know we hired Matthew as an attempt to aid us, but I feel that the work is still not getting done, even after that chat you had with them last week. I heard from Doris Farrell that he has been in the crow's nest every night this week chatting up Elaine Gregson. A bit brave, if you ask me. I heard she was a bit of a tough one. I'll see you when I'm home, Philip. Okay, well, I picked up those packages. Wait, is there anything over here I can get to? No. All right, I'm just going to go down and get behind the desk. See if I can do anything cool. Philip, I just nipped out, but it shouldn't be too long. Is that a British thing? Can you please make sure that you keep an eye on the counter for me whilst I'm gone? Matthew's upstairs sorting through the parcel backlog that the bank holiday has caused. He told me it was taking him a lot longer to go through because of the weird and heavy equipment that Mr. Bell has been ordering from London. Apparently the fellow had ordered a whole load of stuff relating to buoys and church bells. A trifle strange if you ask me, but each their own. Anyway, I will see you soon. Jan. Okay. What's this? Andrew was the oldest brother, and the most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was too young to argue back. Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? 
Andrew asked in a sinister tone. The knocker? His brothers replied, looking at Andrew skeptically. Yes, it lives in the mine past the dock. Legend has it that an old man went into the mine once, looking for his dog. And some strange crystal in there changed him. Changed him into what? Rob inquired, already far too interested for his own good. Andrew's face grew wide and animated. No one knows, because everyone who sees him dies. But apparently, he knocks on the wall with a massive stick, and if you hear it, it means he'll get you. Then what happens? asked Rob, nervously. What happens? Oh, that was interesting. That's the first time I've heard somebody besides Phyllis or Jean talking. That wasn't ambience. Okay, I'm going to keep that grumpy knocker. Hello, Dr. Edmund speaking. No, everything is coming along as expected. He's showing some good progress. I know, but... Yes, I understand. I'll send the results as soon as possible. That was observations. The board are expecting results soon. We simply can't miss this deadline. There should only be one more memory fragment in this area that we need to find. Please don't let me down like the others did. You got it, lady. There's one up here, but I don't know how to get to it. Oh. Look at that. Remember, Restorer, I will not let you project back to the real world until our goal is reached. Don't worry about what's happening on my end. I'll make sure you're safe. As long as you help me, I'll help you. And we'll get through this in one piece. Now, when you're ready, come back to the case and let's access the first core memory of this evening. I thought that thing in the mine was a core memory. Oh, look, another thingy. I'm going to take that. I want it. Okay, Restorer. It's time to venture into our first core memory. I can't contact you when you're inside, so good luck. When you're ready, activate the music box and step through the doorway. Music box? Oh. 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 Everything else here, too? No? Okay. Have to with the music box. You know what? I'm going to leave this episode here. So, I had a hard time getting through Pinuel Harbor. That place sucked. There was too many puzzles, but somehow I got through them. Drop me a note in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this episode. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll still with you next time. But until then, stay frosty. Oh my god.